Guys and nerds, geeks and girls, Sean here from Oz Interactive and today we're going to do a special unboxing, Wrathful Greek Gods, Faithless Mortals, Monsters, it's time to play Monstrous, the game of Mythic Mayhem by Kim Breback, an Australian uh, game developer. So this is, is uh, pretty special. I had the pleasure of meeting Kim yesterday at the EB Games Expo and he was nice enough to give us a copy of Monstrous to do a little unboxing and uh, in one of our upcoming videos we'll do a little bit of gameplay. So what's Monstrous? Really it's a, a card game which will be uh, throwing cards onto the table, trying to score the most um, faith points and become the new god. So we'll open it up here. I've done a little cut so we can get into it nice and quick. What we're going to have inside this box is 60 monster cards um, and five colored monster decks with uh, 12 mythical monsters in each. So we can play with uh, two to five players or team play up to eight players for ages, ages, ages 10 plus. Um, also inside the box, we're gonna get 12 large location cards, uh, eight legendary monster cards, 10 Kraken tentacle cards, five turn sequence cards, five god boards, 56 faith tokens, one rule book and a lightning start guide. These are also available online if um, you want them in a PDF form or anything like that. Uh, so as I said before, two to five players, team play to eight players, ages 10 plus. The play time's roughly around 20 to 40 minutes with variable difficulty levels. Great replayability on it and it will retail in Australia probably between 40 and $50. Had a sale uh, on it for $38 down at the EB Expo. But uh, yeah, let's get on into it and see what we have inside. One thing that really drew me to this game when I first saw it was the beautiful art. I'm a big fan of Magic the Gathering and the artworks that come on the cards. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing more of what they've got in here. Here's your little uh, lightning start rules with a, a bit of an idea of how you set the board up with a couple of players. We've got the uh, location cards here, your god cards, your monsters and your little faith tokens uh, down here. And that'll just be a quick guide on, on how to, to get it up and running. Uh, next inside we have our rule book, which is looks fantastic actually. Uh, you don't get many books like this anymore when uh, you get games, so everything's usually online. I do have an online version as well, which I have already printed out, just so I've got a spare one. Uh, inside here we have our monster deck. Uh, I'm guessing these are our just our god cards and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have some... Here's our faith counters, so uh, 1, 3, 10, 30 counters. Just pop all of them out once we're done. Um, so there'll be 56 of these faith counters all up in here. Here are our monstrous... Uh, these will be our beast decks. And here are our location cards. That is actually something which is pretty cool to have inside one of these games, which is a Ziploc bag to be able to put all your faith tokens and stuff in. So, little handy. Beautiful box, beautiful art. Very well set out. So, what we'll do is we'll open up our location cards first and just have a quick flick through to see all the beautiful art that we've got on here uh, uh, so we've got Argos, Athens, Corinth, Delphi, Mount Olympus, uh, Naxos, Olympia, Sparta! This is Sparta! Uh, we have Thebes, Troy, watch out for the horses, 
and the underworld. Ooh, Hades will be down there. Uh, I really love all of the the Greek mythology uh, kind of things. The cards are beautiful. They're they're matted, so uh, they they seem like they're they're pretty durable just from right off the bat. Uh, this game will involve you throwing the the beast cards onto. Uh, the game area, so uh, durability is is something that's that's going to be really big with uh, games like this. Next, we'll go into our beast cards. So uh, here are the beast cards that we have that we'll be uh, throwing out onto the battlefield. Uh, we have our colours around the, the outside here. So there's five different colours in there. Twelve of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got orange, uh, blue, uh, white, and then we have green. Ooh, we have a purple as well and then we've just got our little uh turn cards so this will um show you what we we're doing on our turn so we throw a monster we trap it with a monster then our monster turn our location locations faith and an extra throw if you've got one there then you draw a card and end your turn so everyone gets one of those as well so we just know where we're kind of going in our turn so that's a pretty cool little addition into there it looks as though each everybody has the same monsters so there's nothing really uh different about what everybody is getting but we'll, we'll go through these quickly because the art on them is absolutely beautiful so uh here we have a gorgon uh next one there is a hydra a pegasus a giant Look at that art, that looks amazing. A harpy, queen of the harpies. A dragon, we need a dragon in there. A griffin. A manticore, which is looks absolutely epic. So he's like a, a dragon, lion, scorpion. A siren. A phoenix. A Hellhound and our Cyclops as well. So there are our Beast cards. And so 60 of those, uh, 12 for each player, up to five players, or you can use it in a team there. Next up, uh, we'll just have a quick look through our locations with uh, our God cards. So I should have pre-cut all of these, but um, there we go, it's not too hard to get into. Okay, so we have our locations on the front for the underworld. Oh, no, they're all different. Oh, right, so these will be one for each player. So you can kind of keep track of what um, you're scoring and what faith you're going to be getting. So the whole idea behind this game is to uh, basically bring faith to the people of our locations. And that's done by uh, throwing our cards out and landing them on the different locations to score different kinds of faith for them. And by the end of the game, whoever has the most faith becomes the new god. So, there we have it, just a, another quick rundown. We have our location cards, our god cards, beast cards. Then we have also our little turn cards there, which keeps us on track and reminds us what we're doing. And our little faith boards here that will pop out. See if we we're gonna pop out a couple just to see if they're simple enough. Yeah, very simple to pop out, so that's good we're not going to be wrecking any as we get them out so all in all this looks like a, a fantastic game as i said it's an australian made game 
uh, Australian developed by uh, Kim Breback from uh, Good Games Productions uh, in conjunction with Secret Base Games. And yeah, we will come back with a, a gameplay video shortly of of this monstrous game. But uh, everyone get in and out there, get it, get a hold of it. It uh, looks like it's going to be a, a fantastic uh, game to play. So from me here, Thorncliff Oz Interactive. Uh, see you all later. Thank you very, very much for watching. That is monstrous. The game of mythic mayhem.